Good evening, my name is Karen. This is Loki. I'm a priest at St. Paul's Bloor Street and it is good to have you joining me this evening for this service of Compline or Night Prayer. If you'd like to follow along with the order of service, you can find that in the video description. And otherwise, you can pray along with me silently in your heart and that's just fine. And now let's take a moment and calm ourselves Remember that we're coming into the presence of God and be still. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. Compassion and forgiveness belong to our God. For the forgiveness of our sins and defenses, let us pray to the Lord. Now let's take some time just to think through the past day with everything that it's held, both good and bad, and to lift it all up to God. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. For our Lenten hymn, we're using the same hymn as last week. Blessed are you, O Lord our God, the Shepherd of Israel, their pillar of cloud by day, their pillar of fire by night. In these forty days you lead us into the desert of repentance, that in this pilgrimage of prayer we might learn to be your people once more. In fasting and service you bring us back to your heart. You open our eyes to your presence in the world, and you free our hands to lead others by the radiant splendor of your mercy. Be with us in these journey days. For without you, we are lost and will perish. To you alone be dominion and glory forever and ever. Amen. And that comes from the Book of a Thousand Prayers, uh, page 331. For our psalm this evening, we have Psalm 32. Blessed is the one whose transgressions are forgiven, whose sins are covered. Blessed is the one whose sin the Lord does not count against them, and in whose spirit is no deceit. When I kept silent, my bones wasted away, through my groaning all day long. For day and night your hand was heavy on me, my strength was sapped as in the heat of summer. Then I acknowledged my sin to you, and did not cover up my iniquity. I said, I will confess my transgressions to the Lord, and you forgave the guilt of my sin. Therefore, let all the faithful pray to you while you may be found. Surely the rising of the mighty waters will not reach them. You are my hiding place. You protect me from trouble and surround me with songs of deliverance. I will instruct you and teach you in the way you should go. I will counsel you with my loving eye on you. Do not be like the horse or the mule which have no understanding but which must be controlled by bit and bridle, or they will not come to you. Many are the, the woes of the wicked, but the Lord's unfailing love surrounds the one who trusts in him. Rejoice in the Lord, and be glad, you righteous. Sing, all you who are upright in heart. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. For our scripture reading this evening, we are working through uh, the discourse from the Last Supper, Jesus talking to his disciples the night before. Uh, it's the same night that he gets arrested later on. We've been working through this for Lent, and so we are to the second half of the chapter of John 15. So we're picking up from where we left off last week. John 15, 18 to 27. If the world hates you, keep in mind that it hated me first. 
If you belong to the world, it would love you as its own. As it is, you do not belong to the world, but I have chosen you out of the world. That is why the world hates you. Remember what I told you, a servant is not greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will also persecute you. If they obeyed my teaching, they will obey yours also. They will treat you this way because of my name, for they do not know the one who sent me. If I had not come and spoken to them, they would not be guilty of sin, but now they have no excuse for their sin. Whoever hates me hates my father as well. If I had not done among them the works no one else did, they would not be guilty of sin. As it is, they have seen, and yet they have hated both me and my father. But this is to fill, fulfill what is written in their law. They hated me without reason. When the advocate advocate comes, whom I will send to you from the Father, the Spirit of truth who goes out from the Father, he will testify about me. And you also must testify, for you have been with, with me from the beginning. This is the word of the Lord. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For you have redeemed me, Lord God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Into your hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of your eye. Hide me under the shadow of your wings. And now the Gospel Canticle, the Nunc Dimittis, which is the Song of Simeon, beginning and ending with the refrain. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep may rest in peace. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations, and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Save us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. For our prayers this evening, we are continuing to use the Litany of Intercession in the Night, which is from St. Augustine's Prayer Book. Um, for Lent, we're using this. Let's pray. O God, our Father, for the sake of the infinite love that burned in the heart of your Son as he bore his passion, we plead for all tonight who stand most in need of your merciful love and protection. Try my heart as you visit me by night. For the wrongs we have committed and the good we have left undone, have mercy. For all false judgments and uncharitable thoughts towards others, have mercy. For presumption on your grace and arrogance towards others, have mercy. By your humility in washing the disciples' feet, save us, Jesus. For those in darkness this night, save us, Jesus. On souls beset by temptation, have mercy. On those in deadly sin, have mercy. On those given up to worldliness and forgetful of you, have mercy. On those who are in danger of losing you forever, have mercy. On all without home and shelter this night, have mercy. On refugees and those whose homes are destroyed in war, have mercy. On children abandoned or disowned by their families, have mercy. On all in mental anguish, have mercy. On all those caught in addiction and destructive habits, have mercy. On the hungry, the cold and the frightened, have mercy. By your cross and passion, save them, Jesus. Those who are out to rescue and protect, strengthen by your love. By your night's watching in prayer, save them, Jesus. 
and those who work or watch or weep this night sustain with your presence. To the sick and suffering, and all in agony of body or mind, give your comfort and your peace. To parents watching with sleepless children, to caregivers tending the elderly, to all who stand and watch over others this night, give your patience and steadfastness. For the sleepless and lonely, be near them. For those in anxiety or mental distress, calm them. For those who this night will suffer bereavement, visit and sustain them. And to all those who will die tonight, give hope and in your mercy receive their souls. To us sinners, now and in the hour of our death, grant pardon of sins, renewal of faith, quickening of love, and a reasonable and holy hope in you. By your holy death, deliver us, Jesus. By your glorious resurrection, save us and bring us to all the joys of paradise. Lord, hear our prayer and let our cry come to you. Let us pray. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous. And all for your love's sake. Amen. And now, praying together the prayer that Jesus taught his friends and his followers to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. In peace we will lie down and sleep. For you alone, Lord, make us dwell in safety. Abide with us, Lord Christ, for the night is at hand, and the day is now past. As the night watch looks for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. May Christ give you grace to grow in holiness, to deny yourself, take up your cross and follow him, and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you tonight and always. Amen. And now have a wonderful week. We will see you again next week. See you. I don't get to actually see you. I wish I did, but uh, for now, this is what it is, and pray that you have a blessed week. Take care.